before my operation, which is a week today. <laughs> going to describe to you how excited I am about filming this video. Okay, so first, sorry if this sounds like really bad. I just went to turn my camera and it's not working. Don't know why it won't turn on, it won't charge. And Google said apparently it's to do with the battery. So I've ordered a new one. That's another situation for tomorrow. Because today I am going to my second rhinoplasty consultation. You can probably already tell by the title of this video. I am getting a nose job. If you know me, you know this is something I've wanted forever. Literally forever. Something I've wanted since I was like 13. Which is quite sad that I wanted something so drastic when I was just 13 years old. Yeah, so basically I wanted one when I was really young. I don't know if you can see it well. I'll do some better before and afters closer to the day of my operation. But this is the side profile. If you see, I feel like this side's quite better. I've already been to one consultation. You did say that this side's a bit more straighter. And as you can see, this side is like a bit more of a bump. You plan to remove the hem to get like a better slope. And you said my tip, the angle, my top lip to my tip is perfect, which I'm quite fat by. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so it's just the hump we're focusing on and narrowing this bit. I chose this surgeon because I had no clue. Obviously, I'm not plastic surgeon but i basically just said about the bump that he was like yeah i can see the bump blah 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 like he looked under here he said this is all fine but he said about narrowing this area which now he said it i agree it's quite bulbous here and he talked about a couple ways he could do the surgery he clearly knows what he's on about so i decided to go with that surgeon and then today we've got our second consultation so he said he likes to see a patient twice before the actual surgery which i thought was quite good as well so going for my second appointment today so i thought i'd bring you guys along with me i don't know how much I can film because I want to like just sit there and talk to him really I don't really want to get my camera out but yeah this is my nose I'm gonna vlog the whole thing as much as the process as I can like obviously this today consultation like pre-op when I get there the actual surgery which as of yet is booked in for November 10th will it happen because of covid who knows fingers crossed and then just like the recovery afterwards and stuff obviously like I think everyone is getting a nose job does I've watched every nose job vlog on youtube so i got an idea of what to bring with me i'm also prepared for like discomfort like apparently your throat gets really sore obviously don't know how much i'm going to swell but i'm prepared to look like a chipmunk for a while and i'm going to be staying here in my uni house so i'm just going to be here in bed for like a week or two weeks but yeah i'm excited i'm nervous and excited i'm more i'm not even nervous actual surgery i'm nervous to go into anesthesia because i've never had an operation before and i don't know like what if i don't fall asleep I can feel it all. That I know it's not gonna happen. I asked him about the anesthesia last time I was there and he talked me through it, but I'm still shitting myself. I know it's gonna be fine. I know it's gonna be fine. It's all gonna be good. I'm still scared for that bit. So for my 18th birthday, I said I wanted to get the non-surgical nose job, the injection, like filler. You know you get your lips filled, got it in my nose. I'll put some like photos and stuff in here. And honestly, even that, it literally affected my confidence so much. I, was, I felt so much better in myself. And that's how I knew it was the right decision. I literally just kept thinking, if this is how good I feel in myself after getting filler, imagine how good I'm going to feel when I get my actual nose job. So I'm 20 now, two years since I've had my filler done. Obviously it's all gone now, only the last few months. And I'm going to get an actual surgeon to do an actual nose job. And yeah, I'll try to film as much as I can. Maybe I'll just talk to you when I come back. See you in a bit. So update for you guys, I didn't film anything in that consultation because we literally just went through what we went through in the first one, just finalised some things, discussed kind of like what happens on the day a bit more in depth and then talked about what happens like pre-op. So I went and got my bloods taken, a bit grim, I don't know if you can see, got a bruise. Just went in and the nurse took my blood, gave me some leaflets and stuff. Basically just talking about pain relief and just some more info about on the day and about like COVID-19 obviously. The risks and side effects. Just some stuff for me to read through before my operation which is a week today. <gasps> Literally it's, what time is it? 20 past 9 on Wednesday the 3rd of November and this exact time next week I will be lying there in a hospital bed like this. All bandaged up with a brand new nose. I'm literally 
I'm so excited, it doesn't feel real. I don't think it'll actually sink in until a week after the operation when I take the cast off and I see my new nose. It's not gonna sink in. I've just been reading through some of these leaflets now, preparing myself. And then I bought some things today. Basically, I bought like cups of soup, some soap and nasal spray. The nurse said she was so lovely and it was honey. She was literally like the sweetest person like honey she basically said i'll get a nice private room with the tv I can bring my laptop bring slippers to walk to and from the toilet and stuff wear a t-shirt that i can like unzip or undo in the day to help me because i don't want to be getting changed like that when i'm all bandaged up i've got like an ensuite with the shower and stuff so i've got soap and things from other vlogs i've watched it said nasal sprays are really helpful like when you're recovering like probably will need this until after i get the packing out of my nose obviously but i've got that ready so i don't want to be going outside looking a whole mess to the shop so I want to be prepared. My mum and my grandma were driving up the day before because my surgery have to be in at half seven in the morning. So they're coming up the night before and I've asked my mum to bring me like a V pillow. Like the ones that like hug you like kind of like a boyfriend pillow. <laughs> so I can like sleep upright. So obviously we'll be able to breathe properly. I wake up in the morning. They'll pick me up, drop me off because obviously COVID. My mum can't come inside with me. I have to go in on my own. They're going to take me to my room I think and like get myself all situated they'll probably give me a gown to wear whatever and then I have to take all my piercings out I have to take my nose ring out and I've got tinsel in my hair from Halloween so I have to take all that out I have a lot to do to prepare but I've been waiting what over seven years probably for this day so I've had enough time to prepare I just really can't believe this is happening finally like if you're watching this because you think about getting a nose job or you are getting one or you want one like you understand how I'm probably feeling right now like how much you want this when you've been waiting for so long finally getting it, it doesn't feel real it really doesn't oh I just know I'm gonna cry so much when I see my new nose <sighs> When it's something that's affected your mental health and your self-esteem, literally your whole teen years and into your adult years. And like, I just paid for it today and yes, a lot of money. And I'm so grateful that I got the money to do it. But it's so worth it if it's, if it's something you really want. Like, I don't care. You can have your own opinions on plastic surgery, but you can't deny that we live in a world where there are certain beauty standards and I wish it wasn't. I wish it was. I was someone who could love my nose. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I see on other people and I think oh, it's lovely. It looks lovely on them. People like it's. Unfortunately, I can't do that when it comes to myself. Um, we're only on this planet for what 80, 90 years if we're lucky. If this one surgery is gonna make my time on this earth better by improving my self esteem, improving how I see myself, and my confidence, you best believe I'm gonna do it. This one stage can literally improve my confidence so much and the amount of times I've been out with my friends, uh, wherever, and my self-confidence has just stopped me from doing so much things and it's so silly, so silly but it is, it's something that affects me day to day and I know a lot of people will relate to that and if you don't agree with surgery that's fine, that's your opinion. Honestly if you want to comment something go for it because comments means more engagement for my videos which means more views so knock yourselves out but I've wanted this for so long and no one can tell me not to now and this time next week it'll be too bloody late so I have the support of my friends and family and most of all I know something I want so I have nothing but excitement for what's happening next week maybe a little bit nervous but mostly excited so I'll either check in the night before or the day of surgery but when we countdown begins today I'll see you then Hey guys, okay, so it's 10 to 3, the day before my surgery. <laughs> Don't mind how I look, I'm literally about to get in the shower because my mum and my grandma, I look, I'm literally about to get in the shower because my mum and my grandma are on their way to bring me like stuff from home and take me out for dinner because they're going to be driving me to the hospital tomorrow. Basically today, been packing my bag, got all necessities and things. And then if you can see there, I've got like a kettle, cups of soup <laughs> and like shin cups and like noodles and things just so like, I've got bits in my room so I don't have to go downstairs too much. My ASOS order just arrived, I thought I'd show you. I ordered a really cute silk button down pajama set because when I went to get my blood taken last week, the nurse said bring like a button up top so you don't have to get changed by like taking your top over your head and stuff you don't want to risk bumping your nose. So I ordered this, it just came, it's actually really cute. I got shorts as well. 
my cute little matching shorts and then this might sound stupid but I ordered like a nice top because I want to envision myself when I'm all healed and my nose all nice I wanted an outfit that I wanted to wear when I leave the house for the first time with my new nose <laughs> I'll show you then it's this one I think it's actually really cute should I tie it on? I'll tie it on so it's this little top I'd wear like a nicer bralette underneath me it's like black mesh with black velvet patterns on it it's quite cute I'm envisioning two weeks from now all healed new nose this top maybe with like maybe black leather trousers little bag I cannot wait like I can't believe this time tomorrow I'll have my new nose I've literally waited seven years for this guys seven years it doesn't feel real it's actually happening it's frustrating because I know I won't be able to actually see the results <laughs> for like two weeks. Well, a week I can get the like cast off, but I'll probably still be all bruised when I. I just want to know what it's going to look like tomorrow. <laughs> but I've waited seven years for this, so I can wait another week, I guess, if I have to. But yeah, new outfit to keep me going through the recovery process. I've got, I'm literally, let me show you, I've set myself right up. I've like got snacks under there. I bought nasal spray because apparently that's helpful. I'm gonna take my laptop with me so I can watch like movies when I'm in the hospital. I've got my knitting because I'm crocheting a blanket. I thought that'd keep me occupied. My kettle and like iced tea, cup of soup. Just all bits I feel like I'll need so I can just be in a hole in this room. Gonna shower now, get ready, and then my mum, my grandma are coming. Gonna go for last meal, cause I can't eat eight hours before surgery, so we're gonna go out for some nice food. And I'm gonna try to go to sleep. Will I be able to sleep? I don't know, I'm probably gonna be too nervous, excited. We'll see, and then I've gotta get up at probably like half five, cause I wanna shower, plait my hair. I know I won't be able to wash my hair for quite a bit, so at least it's plaited out of my face. Won't get too greasy. <sighs> Big day. Big day. I'll check in with you either tonight or in the morning. Good morning. It is 22 6 on 10th of November and it's surgery day. Oh, I could not sleep for the life of me last night. I was just too excited and nervous, but I managed to sleep about three, four hours, I think. Probably not as much as I should have got the day before surgery, but it's the best I could do. I'm just gonna go have a shower now. I washed my hair yesterday, so it's fine, but I'm gonna pat my hair so it's all like out of my face. And then get changed, and then we're gonna be leaving. So my mum's gonna come here at like half six, and then take me for seven o'clock. I know she's gonna cry. <laughs> because she can't come in with me because of COVID. Like she literally just to drop me off at the door, and then drive off. Bless her. So she's not gonna like that at all. I'm just, scared. I'm just scared of the anesthesia. I'm scared of the going to sleep bit. That's all. That's all. Oh, I keep like <sniffs> breathing for my nose. It's the last time I'm be able to breathe my nose for a week, isn't it? <sniffs> right, okay, I'm gonna get in the shower. See you in a bit. Okay, plats all done. I gotta take my jewelry out. Oh. Say goodbye to the nose ring. I don't even know if I have it in again. Like it'll probably close up when I'm in surgery. He said he put a stitch in it to try and like keep it, but he said usually they heal. Hang on, my dad's ringing me. Hello. Hey, Liv. Okay. Hi. How are you feeling? Nervous and excited. <laughs> well, good luck today. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Take it easy. I'll speak to you later. Yeah. Yeah. Speak to you later. Love you. Love you. Bye. 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 Oh. God, right, okay. I can even get it out. Oh, oh it looks so weird without it. Got the old bag and keep them within, so then as soon as they come out, I can put my earrings back in because I don't want them to close up. Just no jewelry. Hate it. Ooh. I literally can't get it out. Um, problem. Okay, my mum's just put up outside now. Look how naked my ears are. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my hospital fit. Black joggers, black t-shirt, black socks, black slides. <laughs> I'm scared. Morning. Room tour, TV, bed, bathroom, nice. Now I'm here, I thought I'd be really nervous, but I'm actually excited. Oh, 
I look hot. <laughs> I can't put these on now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Spoke to my teacher, the anesthesiologist, who's literally like lovely. She's like really sold me and everything because she knows I'm scared about the anesthesia. And she said she's gonna be with me the whole time. She was so nice. And then I just got my food over taken. They had like a whole menu. Yes, please. I ordered tuna cheese melt toasty for dinner tonight. And then for breakfast tomorrow, I got poached egg on toast. Will I be able to even eat it? Because my throat's going to be really sore. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to have soup instead. But I'm so excited. Nervous. Excited. One last look at my nose. Bye, bestie. <laughs> yes, he's out of surgery. I've never looked better. Oh my god. I literally look like I'd be hit by a bus. They did end up taking a bit of my skull from behind my ear. This is literally like full of blood. It feels disgusting. I feel quite dizzy. And they took my plaits out. But obviously that was over so fast. I wedded at 10. I woke up at like quarter to two. But yeah, all done. I feel quite dizzy and a bit nauseous. So they're getting me some nausea tablet. Just want to see what it looks like now. Not too much bruises so far, but I'm like waiting for that to kick in. But okay, I'll fill you in when I feel more alive. Just got them to bring me a fan. Cause I'm bloody boiling, the window's open. That's actually a lifesaver right now. Got my water, my laptop. It honestly feels like I've had worse hangovers, but I know that's just the pain there, so I'll probably feel worse in a bit. So far, so good. If only I did this before Halloween, this could have been my costume. <laughs> Do you want to know something gross? I'm pretty sure this is draining from my skull. Oh, the nurse was so nice, she just helped me put my earring back in. <laughs> I'm gonna try for the rest in now because I don't want them to heal. And she's gone to get me a cold compress bag. Also, if I be more bruised when I woke up, you kind of see it bruising there. A little bit of blood, but I know when I wake up tomorrow, I'll probably be really bruised. Most pain is this bit where they took my skull. I'm gonna try and put these back in now. Wish me luck. <laughs> I can't laugh. I got cold compresses for my eyes and I just ordered some food. The most painful bit is like right the top of my mouth, but besides that, I'm quite okay. See you when I get my food. Okay, they just bought me my food. What have we got? Crisps, orange juice. I can't wait to drink that. Tangerine. What's this? Nice. Is this mac and cheese or toasty? Toasty. That looks so good. I'm gonna watch something on my laptop. I just tried to sit up, to set up my laptop and I feel so dizzy. I'm kind of gutted because the soup of the day is tomato and I love food. But I can't have any like hot drinks or anything because it'll make my nose bleed. I don't know how I'm gonna eat a cheese toasty. It hurts to chew because they took a bit of my skull. This is actually making me want to be sick. Why is it going into my head? It is honestly what I look like right now. Jesus. Ow. My throat. It's quite nice. Panini. Ah. That's yummy. Christ, it is bleeding quite a bit. Ew. Um, it's now dark out. It is quarter to five, and I started eating at three half three. And it's literally taken me two hours to eat half of one half panini. <laughs> oh, I think my eyes start to swell a bit now. They feel a bit sore, and the orange juice is like burning my throat a bit. So I think I'm gonna. Eat as much as I can and then have a nap because I'm so tired. I'll update you in a bit. Okay, within the last 15 minutes, the pain just proper started to kick in now. The news just came and changed this for me. And she's gone to see if I can have some more painkillers. Oh, 
It's hard to describe, it's like my eyes feel quite sore and it feels like really bugged up and a bit sore here but oh, I don't know. It's hard to describe, it's not the type of pain I thought it would be. I think my face is starting to swell a bit. It's this bit that's quite sore but yeah I'm gonna get some painkillers now hopefully. I think I'm gonna FaceTime my flatmates now because they're wondering how I am. Guys, I just went to sort my hair out and I was like, what's in my hair? Is that a clip? It's just a ball of blood. Oh, I can't hardly see it. Nah, that's grim. That's actually disgusting. It's hard. Why is it at the back of my head? Okay, I'm gonna try and break it. Sorry, you can probably see it by that big show behind you. I rested my phone on the laptop. Oh, hey. oh, I forgot my hairbrush as well. I knew I forgot something. Okay, I think I managed like separate as a ball of bread. Oh, where's that come from? Oh, my nose is so lovely. Everyone is so nice. But when I woke up after the operation in like the room next door, there was like these two male nurses and they were so nice. And one of them like showed me what I looked like in his phone and we both just burst out laughing. I was like, yeah, I've never looked better than this. It's literally been like three hours since they gave me food. I'm still much on my panini. And the woman just walks in and she was like, Oh, you're still eating your panini. I was like, yeah, just put it down, love. I'll stop much for that now. But look how nice it looks. That looks scrumptious. Some chippies, sauce. I mean, look, she's got feast going on. Wait, what's dripping down my face? What's dripping down my face? Is that blood or a tear? What? Oh, I think it's a tear. It's hard to tell these days. I forgot to show you the menus. Then there's a second one, which is like just today's menu. Panini, vegan, everything. And then this one. Breakfast, I ordered poached eggs for breakfast. And then I just got the mac and cheese. But then look at the dessert. Are they joking? It's not a caramel cheesecake. I got um, the lemon sorbet because I thought it'd be nice on my throat. I can't have any tea or coffee. Because apparently, like, hot drinks will make my, like, I got blood clot right in the back of my throat, like, hanging down. Just going, every time I swallow, like, I feel it, like, tugging down. Apparently, that's meant to be good, like, the blood congeals, and apparently hot drink will melt it. That's actually grim, but no hot drinks, no soup. I'm crying again. Oh. Stocks have literally peaked in life. I mean, mac and cheese, watching RuPaul's Drag Race after a nose job. I'm gonna finish my mac and cheese now. I'll update you in a bit. Okay, they just put me on a drip and they give me some antibiotics and like this is a drip to stop me getting like blood clots and stuff. I'm gonna FaceTime Maddie now. <laughs> give the vlog a wave, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my face? I love it already. <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right, say bye. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> The drip make you feel nauseous. Oh, I just asked for some anti sickness stuff now, but I put the cold compresses back on my eyes and line back a bit. Oh, I just wish I could breathe for my nose right now. Oh, feel that like I'm hungover. Okay, I'll update you after taking the anti sickness stuff. Guess who just helped us through it? I was literally like, the nurse is in to give me some anti-nausea um, medicine and I went, I think I'm going to hop now. And I bet she ran and got a bowl. But I was literally like this while she was getting a bowl. I was like, like, I forced myself not to be sick. I swallowed it down. That was so scary. I was like this, fighting for my life. And I literally stopped myself from throwing up. I was so powerful. But she said she'll stop that medicine for now, just so I can stop feeling sick for a bit and then go back on it. But I think the bruises start to come up some more now, you can see. Nice dry blood, but uh, you know how the second half of that goes. If I end up throwing up, we shall see. <laughs> <laughs> oh you my look god. Crazy. You just look crazy. Yeah, and it's understandable that I look crazy. I've been filming most of it on my phone because it's the first time I've been able to reach my camera because it's been in my bag over there. But I'm on FaceTime to Bear. Say hello to Bear. Hey! Oh my god, no, my bloody tissue's just next to you. That's disgusting. Next to my chips. <laughs> but literally, we've just been crying, haven't we, Bear? Well, you've, been, you've set me off. Happy tears. 
<laughs> happy <laughs> tears, yeah. Because oh we've literally known each other since we were like three, haven't we? Yeah. And you know how long I've wanted this since we were teenagers. I'm so happy. Oh. I'm so happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Don't you gonna set me off I'm again? <laughs> I'm gonna chat to Vex for a bit now and then call my mum, but I'll fill you guys in if there's another update. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, so my surgeon, my anesthesiologist just came in. And if you're wondering why it's dark, is because they just turned the light off on the way out on accident. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so... But he said, oh my god, no, I could literally cry right now. Hang on, let me turn the brightness up so you can actually see me. I was like, oh, how did it go? And he was like, perfect. Basically, he said the inside was a lot more crooked than he thought, so he did have to break the nose. And he took a graph from behind my ear and put it in one side. And I was like, well, how's it looking? And he said, it's a perfect little slope. I was like, stop, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe it. It's going to be a bit of blood, so if you don't like that, look away. But can you see? Oh, me and Beck were just crying to each other on FaceTime because we both, like, she knows how much I've wanted this because she's been my best friend since we were like three. And she knows how much I've wanted this since we were teenagers. We both cry. Mm. I'm gonna cry now. Oh my gosh. God, I can't wait to see it now. Okay, I'm gonna call the nurse back. I feel really bad calling it back, but I think my medicine's done now anyway, so I'll tell her. I'll ask you to turn the light back on. Hi guys. Just brushed my teeth and tried to wash this part of my face before bed. Mm. I haven't had like pain meds since six. It's now half ten. And I feel fine, which is strange. But I've just clocked on when I was washing my face. I've literally got, see these, I don't know if you can see in the light, these two holes here, they're stitches. And there's a stitch going there, and a stitch going there attached to here. What? Right, hang on, let me put the torch on. See if you can see it. Can you see that? There. It's stitches. Never seen that before, but he said when he went in, my nose was probably like a lot more complicated than he thought. Like he said, this side was all like wiggly, like a deviated septum. Could I have not had it on the NHS? <laughs> it's done now, too late. I feel like I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and get some sleep. My lovely nurse just brought me some ice chips. So I asked if I could have soothers just because I'm thinking in the middle of the night my throat might be like dry from breathing up my mouth. But she said, nah, I just have some ice chips, so. Maybe watch a bit of TV or TikTok. Try and get some sleep. Probably update you in the morning. See you then. Good morning. It is literally six o'clock on the dot. They just woke me up to give me some paracetamol and a laxative, which is great. <laughs> it's actually really nice. It's a cowpaw. It's really sweet. I feel alright. I'm a lot less full than I thought I'd be when I woke up. I got like a five hour sleep. I think I woke up like a couple of times in between, but not bad. I thought I'd get a lot less sleep, I thought I'd be a lot more swollen. So, first night, not bad at all. I think they're coming around in the morning to take all this off, this gross contraption. And then hopefully I can go home. Yeah, they just bought me breakfast. I think I ordered poached eggs. I'm not sure if I could have the cup of tea though, because I swear I'm not supposed to have like hot drinks. But if I pour it, let it cool down. Ooh. Yummy, then we got some toast, tea. Oh my god, that's perfect. TV. I can't wait for this to be off my head, honestly, and for this to be gone. I can't look at it, it makes my knees feel weak. So my nurse just came in and moved me into the chair to have my breakfast so I can like walk around a bit and get out of the bed. I just wanted to show you my view. How lush is that? It's so pretty. Not even joking, I was literally eating my toast. And I was still out of biting my mouth in the first time she comes in. And he was like, right, head up. He just yanked the packet out. It was good though, he was like, right, I'm just gonna do it quickly. Yanked it out. I can breathe my nose now. 
I'm scared too because I don't want all the stuff to go in my throat. Ew. But it's like dripping clear liquid. And my eyes are so swollen. And they're gonna give me a two week sick note for uni so I can get out of my presentation. Okay, I'm gonna try and wash my face a bit and brush my teeth. I can't even look through that one in the vomit. That is so disgusting. I can't wait to get my hair normal because it's literally like. <laughs> oh, and that other one around too wide, that hair. Oh, I'm having a great time. I got my stick. I don't even get my stitches wet or anything. Just gently. Nurse just came and pulled the drain out. All this line here. I yanked it out. I could feel it coming. Like, do they just leave it like that? Like, what? What? I'm guessing I just go from like this now. Oh my gosh. No. I can't even probably see it. I'm scared to look at it. I actually see my head again. My head is like full of blood though there. Oh. See in a bit. I just got changed. I'm gonna be going home. Apparently I am meant to just let it heal like this. I'm trying to open the room, I don't understand, but they think it's quite hard to like, dress it when it's in your hair. I'm so excited to go home. I'm going to pick me up at 11 and it's quarter past 7. Oh. Got my new jars on. I'm going to miss this little room. Hello! My mum's just gone to get me some stuff from Tesco and my grandma's getting me Starbucks. But I got, I've got like ointment to put on the stitches and stuff. And I'm going to take some pain medication when I get in now, but here comes my mum. <laughs> Banana? Banana? Oh. Yeah, I banana. Hello, we're ready! Do you want to do a it? massive on the head? Yeah, go on. Yeah, sh Maddie's going to show you my Wait, bloody hair. Come near hand. the light. <laughs> Look at the state. I don't, it's like my hair's full of blood. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's actually disgusting. Can you see it? Oh, oh what is yeah. that? What is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Why? What was the need? But apparently he used it to rebuild some of my nose. So at least they, I know they were like willing to do the do most. Do it proper. <laughs> <laughs> Have you showed your poop selection? Yeah, yeah. I showed them the other day. <laughs> Look at this. Got everything I need. And Maddie's gonna be my hair washer yeah. in a couple of days. Can you see the stitches? Mhm. Mm so they have to do a little bit on the. Yeah, and then two there for some whatever reason. Mm. But Look, the bruising's coming down here now. No, it's not. Good. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be at all. <laughs> right, update you in a bit. Hey guys, Maddie just left my room now. I was just sorting out like all my tablets and stuff. Took my antibiotics and then I put my ointment on my stitches and then put one of these on. The nurse said not to like dab it with tissue so much because you don't want stitches to get affected. So I just keep these on. And I just like set myself up. <laughs> in bed i've got like v-shaped pillow i'm gonna sit in that and then put this one around my neck so i can sleep upright nicely <laughs> bin bag for my tissues the bowl from the hospital i've got water with a straw so it's easy to drink i've got my starbucks cold compresses which i like soaked in cold water for my eyes and then box of tissues and then more of the things to wear to my nose like this but you can see my, my bruising is getting worse now my eyes literally like getting so swollen now i've had some soup i'm just gonna watch some netflix maybe try a nap because i've only had like four hours sleep last night i'm quite tired i've tried to like map out when to take all my medication my face id just doesn't work on my phone <laughs> understandably i mean look at the state of me so i just took them now at four i did wake up at 12 a.m to take my other antibiotic i set like alarms for everything it's gonna be hard to keep up with but i can do it and then the antiseptic cream on stitches every eight hours so i'll do that again in eight hours Whew, it's a lot but yeah gonna watch some netflix drive a nap and i'll update you if my swelling gets worse which it probably will <laughs> we have a problem my nose is itching right here I oh i can't itch it Oh, if I just wiggle my nose. No, that hit. <laughs> what do I do? It's itchy. I fear this may be a problem. Oh. I have proper swelling up now. They're like this eye. This one's alright still. Like it's a little bit bruising, but I'm losing this eye. Week's time, this will all be off. And I'll be, I'm just sitting here looking at my t-shirt i bought that i'm gonna be wearing the first night out with my new nose it's keeping me going that's my motivation that 
and RuPaul's Drag Race is keeping me going. Okay, it's 6 30. My timer just went off. It's time for me to take my patty ball and my other pink colours. My nose is running a lot. Like, I don't know why. It's suddenly like streaming. I'm so glad I got this cup. I got it when I went to the cinema and I got an ice glass in it. And it's literally like a lifesaver right now. Morning. So it's half 12 now and my alarm just went off for my next round of. Paracetamol. I actually didn't sleep that bad. I got a good amount of sleep. I was literally like in this position just all night with my thing around my head. And I woke up at half six for paracetamol and then I woke up again at half eight for my antibiotics and put cream on my stitches. It's still on there, you can see. The swelling hasn't gone too bad. I thought it'd be a lot more when I woke up. You can see in this eye, it's starting to go like a bit yellow in the corner. Not cute. I know the doorbell's going. I'm not going down there looking like this. Someone else can answer that. I just soaked my cold compresses again so I can lie here for a bit with these on my eyes. Try and keep the swelling down some more. And I've got a spot on my chin because I can't wash my face properly. I've been trying to, obviously, but I'm so scared of getting my stitches wet. So I've got a spot on my neck, so that's lovely. I'm going to take these now. Put film on, chill for a bit. Cause I don't want to sleep all day because then I'll just wake up and it'll be dark again. I want to see some sunlight today, so it just feels really uncomfortable. Runny nose and like a little stuffy, but not that painful, so that's good. Guess we just ordered a pizza. Oh my god, I can't see the sun like <laughs> shining right through my window. I just ordered a Domino's because I can't be bothered to cook anything. Maddie's gonna bring it upstairs for me because I don't want to scare the delivery man. Open the door looking like this. I ordered a barbecue pizza and some vegan chicken nuggets and some wedges and some cookies. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet and it's half three, so I've just been trying to drink as much water as I can. I hate washing my face, but like my face is really oily. It's going really shiny where it's like swelling. It's like really oily, it's really annoying, you know? It's so uncomfortable, but it basically just feels like a really bad cold. The swelling has gone up too much i don't think since this morning and i do just want to wash my hair but i don't want to touch this bit here like i don't understand why it's just like an open wound i don't get it like what if my hair gets stuck in it when it's healing the doctors know what they're doing i guess i'm just bored like i don't like i don't know what to watch on netflix sad re-watching fleabag but i need new things to watch I always do this, I like try to find something new and I just end up watching the same programmes like over and over again. But flea bag is good so I don't mind. But I'm so excited to go out when this is done. Like, oh, imagine the first night out, getting ready. I'm so excited to get ready with my new nose. I have to do my makeup all differently. I'd avoid like really dark eyeshadow because it would make my eyes set in more. And make my nose look harsher like I thought anyway. And now I can just do whatever I want. I can contour my nose really nicely. I feel like I've never been able to put highlighter on the bridge of my nose because it would always make the bump look bigger. I can do that now. Oh my god, it's gonna look so pretty. I think Maddie just answered the door to the pizza man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Did they give me another one? They gave me something for free. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, I didn't get this much. What did they give me? Oh my god, they gave me two wedges. <gasps> Shut up. Oh. No, no, they weren't. I got three wedges. Yeah. Do you want some? Thank you, delivery woman. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, Domino's literally just gave me loads of free food. They gave me three wedges. Look, I got look all the food I got. They must have known I was ill and I needed extra food. Yes, I got pineapple and gherkins on my pizza. People would taste like pineapple on pizza. And I will die on that hill. I can't open my mouth wide enough because it hurts my head. Mm. Oh my god, I just ate like half that pizza. And when I say I have a food baby, I have a food baby. It actually hurts to move. <laughs> but I just put more cream on my stitches and popped one of these on. I think I'm just going to lie here and I just wet my cold compresses. So I'm going to lie here like this. For the time being. <laughs> and try to keep the swelling down. I don't know why not swelling as much as I thought I was. It must be these. I was expecting my sound to be a lot worse after having my whole nose broken, but not bad, not bad. My hair feels grim though. I'm gonna have to wash it tomorrow, I think. I'm gonna try have a little nap with these on my eyes and I shall update you if anything else changes. Okay, it's five to nine and I'm just having some more pizza, but I just noticed, I think this side, <laughs> this side 
is getting a bit more bruised. Can you see? Mm. Not feeling too bad. The side of my head hurts a bit when I chew or I open my mouth too wide to eat, but it's not too bad, not too painful. Me and my flatmates are going to watch a film in a bit. It'd be nice to get out of my room because I've been sat in here since yesterday, so... I'll probably talk to you later. Hello, it is quarter to five on Saturday, 13th of November, so three days post-op. I just woke up from a nap at half four, my alarm went off to take my antibiotics and put more cream on my stitches. And you see my swelling, I haven't swelled up anymore, but it's gone like yellow now, which I think is a good sign, because that means like I'm not gonna bruise anymore, it's just changing colours now. I think. I just woke up to a text and Cleo now saying she wants to come give me something. So I'll tell her she can come in. If there's a noise in the background, it's, my fan is on. It's just quite warm in here. Oh my god, this thing is a little godsend. If you're gonna get a nose job, get one of these to sleep. I literally sleep like this. It's great. Oh, <laughs> oh you got for me. Oh, thank you. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Oh, you got a fucking nose job. <laughs> yes, I did. You have wanted this. <laughs> so today I met you and my mom before. I'm so, so happy that you finally happened. Oh, stop making a cry, Kia. <laughs> Don't make me smile too much at his. Oh, I love you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so You're much. so raw. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> I just had a nap. <laughs> oh, look how cute the card is, guys. That's so nice. Thank you, Kia. I'm going to put it right next to my bed. Like, oh. What's happening tonight? I wanted to go out for drinks. So I was like, don't think I can be bothered. I can't go out for drinks. So I could. I can come and sit there looking like this. <laughs> but I don't think people would want me in their restaurant looking like this. I can't believe I'm actually going to leave the house looking like this. Oh no, you've broken your nose. What happened? Literally look insane. <laughs> One more day till this is all off. One more day. Today's the day. Ready? It's literally just like perfect little ski slope nose now.